Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, we decided to take down this, uh, I think it's a Gemolina tree here. And you can see uh, by the way that it fell, which way the leaves were uh, going. It's just uh, one more, or uh, following this tree is one less thing, uh, one less bit of organic matter that will fall into these uh, breeding and grow out tanks that are going to go here. Leaves and stuff like that falling into the water uh, either must be cleaned out or you just take the risk of it fouling your water. Any organic matter falling into water will decay and that decay uh, lessens the water quality. And there were always leaves from this tree uh, falling into these tanks. In fact, there's probably a few old ones in this one that you could see. Yeah, there's a couple down there in the bottom and there's also, I don't know, there's these little green things that come off of it, seeds or something, I don't know. It's not fruit, it's not edible. But anyway, that stuff has fallen in and to this tank, it would have fallen into all of these tanks. So, uh, it was time to bring this tree down as well. And, uh, on a positive note, we get some wood out of it. Uh, Tatai can always find something to use the wood for. I don't know if this wood would be good enough to use at the gate um, for the shrimp pond. I'm going to talk to Tatai about it before. I can see that he's marked this last one here. Uh, probably should have came out and got a little bit earlier start this morning. I didn't get to sleep till after 4 a.m. this morning because Tata and I were out at the shrimp pond until 2 a.m. And then I edited and uploaded that video. And so I got to sleep late and I didn't get up till 10 a.m. this morning. It's past 11 now. It's taken two cups of coffee to get me up and moving. Stop it, Nene. Um... If I, if I had uh, intervened in this a little bit sooner, because look, the boards that we need for the, the uh, to continue up on the gate at the shrimp pond only need to be an inch, three, even three-fourths of an inch wide. And he's already cut these. We'd have to use a regular saw to get these down to three-fourths. Because I think if he cut these with a the chainsaw, we'd lose so much with the blade, we wouldn't end up with two one-fourth boards. Well, there's only one of me, and there's only so many hours in the day, so it is what it is. But I'll talk to Tatai about it and see if we can save any of this. He said he knew of a guy who had a four-foot stump or something that we could use. So I'll ask Tata if he's got some kind of a plan for this lumber here or just what the deal is. But anyway, that's why we took this tree down. We're actually waiting on the permit for this tree. Uh, it's, not a, it's not an instant thing. Uh, I've decided to go ahead and take it down. Uh, but uh, no, no permit is needed for this one. Uh, any... You know, um, I don't know what the uh, uh, technicality, technicalities are behind it, but in the Philippines, I don't know, like 30 years ago, 40 years ago, there was a big push to uh, produce crops for export. And so there were laws enacted to uh, save trees that were producing things for export. And coconut trees were one of them. And so it became against the law to cut down coconut trees. Uh, unless you got, uh, unless it was, unless you could show cause and 
then you can get a permit to cut them down. And uh, I can obviously show cause why, why these need to cut down so the, the permit process isn't a, isn't a hassle and it's just at the barangay level. So uh, there's no, there no uh, permit needed to cut down a gemolina tree such as this one. And that's why uh, it, it came down before this one. The chainsaw man had something wrong with his chainsaw. He's going to get it repaired. So I'm going to go find Top Tie and see what the deal is here. See if maybe we can save these and have a little conversation with Top Tie. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.